ratio and proportion equivalent ratios we have learned about equivalent fractions already let's revise it and see what the equivalent ratios are find what goes in the box we have to find an equivalent fraction to the one that is given we have 7 upon 20 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with denominator 100 20 into 5 is 100 whatever we do to the denominator we have to do to the numerator so we multiply the numerator by 5 which gives us 35 the equivalent fraction is 35 upon 100 let us do another one we have 16 upon 24 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with denominator 6 here we have to divide 24 divided by 4 is 6. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So we divide the numerator by 4, which gives us 4. The equivalent fraction is 4 upon 6. Here is one more. We have 12 upon 25 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with numerator 36. 12 into 3 is 36. Whatever we do to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So we multiply the denominator by 3, 2, which gives us 75. So the equivalent fraction is 36 upon 75. Try this one. We have 28 upon 36 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with numerator 7. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Whatever we do to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So we divide the denominator by 4, 2, which gives us 9. The equivalent fraction is 7 upon 9. If we multiply or divide the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same number, it is still the same fraction. We know how to write the ratios as a fraction. Therefore, we can get the equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. Write the equivalent ratios of 2 is to 7. We can get the equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. 2 is to 7 can also be written as 2 upon 7. We multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 and we get 6 upon 21. Therefore, 6 is to 21 is an equivalent ratio of 2 is to 7. 2 is to 7 can also be written as 2 upon 7. We multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5 and we get 10 upon 35. Therefore, 10 is to 35 is an equivalent ratio of 2 is to 7. Write the equivalent ratios of 90 is to 60. We can get the equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. 90 is to 60 can also be written as 90 upon 60. We divide both the numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 9 upon 6. Therefore, 9 is to 6 is an equivalent ratio of 90 is to 60. 90 is to 60 can also be written as 90 upon 60. We divide both the numerator and denominator by 15 and we get 6 upon 4. Therefore, 6 is to 4 is an equivalent ratio of 90 is to 60. Find the equivalent ratios of 5 is to 7 and complete the table given below. Here, we have to find the equivalent ratios of 5 is to 7. We have 5 upon 7 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with numerator 30. 5 into 6 is 30. Whatever we do to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So we multiply the denominator by 6, 2, which gives us 42. The equivalent fraction is 30 upon 42. Now we have 5 upon 7 and we want to make an equivalent fraction with denominator 63. 7 into 9 is 63. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So we multiply the numerator by 9, 2, which gives us 45. 
So the equivalent fraction is forty five upon sixty three. Now we have five upon seven, and we want to make an equivalent fraction with numerator fifteen. Five into three is fifteen. Whatever we do to the numerator, we have to do to the denominator. So we multiply the denominator by three two, which gives us twenty one. So the equivalent fraction is fifteen upon twenty one. Can you now make equivalent ratios? Yes.